in this video we are going to talk about the level 7 hydra kernels which was released today itself so guys uh, if i go through the change logs and all and uh, like what are the change logs which has been done or the various build logs and all so guys in this video we are going to talk dedicatedly about the hydra level 7 kernels and guys believe me this is as i have promised that this will be going to be a best kernel or you can say one of the best hydra kernels which you can ever get for the device for the redmi note 8 pro device okay guys uh, so guys in this video we are going to discuss like each and every aspect that from where it, the build was started and from where it has gone and all so guys in this video we are going to talk literally about each and everything pointing out to our hydra kernels okay guys so if i talk about the build uh, status log so i'll go through the i'll come to the hydra kernel build page over here and guys if you see over here so these uh, uh, these two are basically the trees now guys these two trees are uh, completely accessible only for the admins these are not yet opened moving on to the next guys so you can see uh, see that there are various uh, stuffs which we have fixed in this particular kernel so if i talk about so you can see that there are various fixes for example in the version 6.13 you can uh, you might have felt the little bit of heat which were coming while playing games or even while the normal scrollage but guys in this uh, level 7.13 all of that has been completely fixed and you can see that the thermals has been fixed in this particular kernel okay guys moving on to the next so guys you can read simply through all these things he has stated all these things now guys what we want so we'll go to that particular part so you can see that we have came over to this particular part and here you can see that the anto2 benchmark i have done the test and guys the score was 32 uh, then guys i have tested it with uh, uh, tested it again on the cr droid rom and guys it has the score has crossed the 33 30541 mark okay and guys also the temperature did not rise as much as it was rising in the previous versions since guys we have already talked about that thermals was fixed in this thermals is fixed in this particular kernel if i talk about more guys so i have tested the thermal throttling and you can see that guys the maximum score was 201157 and guys this i have tested on the pixel experience rom directly uh, without uh, using any other rom because guys pixel experience is the base for many other roms so guys that is the reason guys i have tested directly on the pixel experience and guys if i talk about more so guys uh, this three was tested by the blazer paul and here you can see that he has tested the geek bench and guys the single core score is 532 and guys you all know that the average uh, score for redmi noted pro is around 477 but guys here the score is more than that it is around 532 and guys you can see the multi-core score is 1597 so guys i will i'm quite sure that guys you all will love this kernel love using this kernel and guys, okay guys moving on to the next we'll talk about the change logs so i'll come to the change logs here we are on the change log page and uh, here you can see that guys the, this uh, developer has released the change log two hours ago and here you can see the branch tag is 7.13 okay guys and this is a verified change log you can see this tick over here okay guys now moving on to the next so let's talk about what are the change logs which has been done and guys believe me there are bunch of change logs which has been done in this particular variant that is the 7.13 the two variants are released the first one is the hydra battery uh, backup and balance like we have uh, completely merged this uh, bb plus balance and mean battery plus balanced in one particular kernel as compared to uh, the other kernels like other kernel they release the different different variants but guys we have merged in a single variant and guys moving on to the next so the second variant which was released is the hydra plus variant so this is for performance okay now moving on to the next guys so here you can see that the developer has written a very clear cut notice that he has to keep a minimum variant with stable builds because guys if we release three to four variants and guys none of them are stable so that's completely useless useless okay Okay. so guys that is the reason why we have kept only two variant that is the hydra battery backup and second one one is the hydra plus variant okay so the, what are the change logs so here you can see that this kernel supports miui okay guys and it also supports android 11 12 13 and 14 and obviously it is based on ROSS as we all know that Hydra kernels are based on ROSS okay guys now moving on to the next so here the flashing process is optimized now guys this uh, there are change logs which has been done with more like for a developer point of view so he has written this thing like optimized flashing process okay guys and here uh, we have used MediaTek CPU specific compilers you all know that in the in our previous builds we used to give a Dragon TC and uh, the Proton Clang but guys in this um, uh, particular variant that is the Hydra versions uh, level 7 
10.13 we have used a ubuntu clang this is a pure android linux clang okay guys and this is way more stable than any other third party clang which other kernels are using okay guys moving on to the next so here you can see that we have stabilized the source code for 414302 okay guys moving on to the next so guys i have tested this thing and uh, guys uh, i have also posted the screenshot in my telegram group i'll give the link of that in description or probably i'll show it in this particular video and later on as well that guys moving on to the next guys so there are many other change logs which uh, you can read over here but i'll explain the major major change logs so here you can see that the thermals are restored and 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 guys i have already told you that we have uh, compiled this using the pure ubuntu clang that is 14.0.1 because we want our kernels to be more stable as compared to the previous builds okay moving on to the next guys so here you can see that this is again one more point which was added and this is literally impactful so you can see that the power usage was definitely decreased as compared to the previous builds of the hydra kernels okay moving on to the next guys and also guys our kernels that is a hydra level 7 kernel support the magisk 24 and above okay guys so basically you can directly flash the magisk and there will be no error no issue okay you can directly flash the magisk just make sure that guys hydra kernels is installed in your device okay guys and here are the credit and thanks to literally everyone for helping us out okay guys now let's see that from where we can download okay guys now let's talk about the from where we can download so guys now let's talk about from where we can download this kernel okay so guys uh, for downloading this kernel you will have to come to this particular website i'll provide the link of this website in the description below and uh, here you can see that the hydra level 7113 kernels has been shown now guys let's talk about the screenshot from here itself because uh, the many screenshots has been uploaded i have already seen so here you can see that guys the kernel version is written over here that is 4143 and two hydra plus kernels here you can see that our kernel support the MIUI now guys this is an old screenshot but guys still the level 7 kernels also support MIUI moving on to the next so here you can see that the fast charging support has been shown over here so guys now let's go to our phone and uh, let's see that how we can flash this kernel in any of the android 11 12 or 13 based rom and also guys one more thing to say that it also supports MIUI so guys here i am on my phone and here guys you can see that uh, here in the redmi note 8 pro update channel the hydra kernel level 7.13 has been released and here you can see that the build date is guys of today itself and there are various changes so guys let's see that how we can flash this hydra kernel level 7.13 in our redmi note 8 pro so after for downloading guys you have to come to this particular link now I'll provide the link in the description directly so here we are on the website and here you can see that after clicking on the link you will come to this particular website and here you can see that guys here hydra level 7.13 has been listed and here i'll go to the files and here you can see that hydra plus and hydra rss has been listed over here so guys it's completely depend on you which what uh, which variant you want to flash so guys i'll download each of the uh, both the variant ones and uh, i'll show uh, the flashing of i'll go to the detail over here and here you can see that it is getting downloaded now i'll download the hydra rss variant as well and i'll press the download over here and i'll go to the details over here and here you can see that uh, that guys hydra rss variant has been shown and guys here you can see that we have downloaded the hydra rss as well as the hydra plus variant in our redmi note 8 pro now guys what we have to do is just follow the same steps so guys uh, since you are on uh, any custom rom or guys even if you are on miui so very first step you have to do is you have to go to twrp recovery okay so just press the power button over here click on the restart and press the volume up button guys volume up button okay so that you can enter the any recovery like you can use twrp recovery you can use orange fox that's completely depend on your choice but you have to boot to recovery at first So guys here we are in our TWRP recovery now so guys here we are in our TWRP recovery and here I'll go to the install over here and I'll come to download a folder on which in which I have downloaded my Hydra kernels and guys here you can see that Hydra plus and Hydra RSS variant has been downloaded as we have downloaded it previously so guys uh, it's completely depends on you that which variant you want to flash now guys i'll be flashing the hydra plus variant you can flash any of the variant whichever you like so i'll select this hydra plus variant and simply i'll simply swipe to wipe so guys here you can see that our hydra plus variant you can see here the hydra plus is it is written so hydra plus variant has been successfully flashed into our, into our redmi note 8 pro now guys let me reboot to the system and let me show you that whether our hydra or hydra plus kernels has been installed so guys i'll go to the setting over here 
I'll scroll down and here in the about phone segment, I'll go to the Android version about device. And guys, here you can see that our Hydra Plus kernels has been successfully installed. So guys, this is how you will flash the Hydra level seven kernels. And guys, believe me, this is one of the best kernels as I've already told you uh, during the release of 6.13 that 7.13 is going to be the bestest kernel of the Hydra for Redmi Note 8 Pro. So guys, this was about in this video. Guys, I hope that you all will like this kernel. And also guys, if you are new to the channel, then make sure that you subscribe for such awesome contents and awesome updates. And also guys, hit the like button. Take care. It's all about you.